Hey, good morning, everybody. I want to welcome you back to my office in my Subaru. And I just want to, wanted to do a video this morning just to say hello, to say I'm praying for you, to say reach out to me if you have any needs, if you need prayer. Uh, please call or text my cell phone, 408-429-0725. And I, I want to let you know this because I know some of you woke up in your car, some of you woke up in a hotel, some of you woke up at a friend's house or family's house, and just the feeling of being displaced. Uh, I can only imagine what you might be feeling right now. Anger, uh, uh, despondency, fear, um, whatever it might be that you are feeling right now, I want you to take courage. Take courage. Scripture has a lot to say about courage. In fact, we're told over and over and over again to fear not. And here's the thing about courage. You don't get courage like you get a suntan. Uh, you can't just be passive and sit and, and have courage come on you. It is something that you need to take. And so despite whatever emotions, despite whatever feelings you might have, I want you to take courage today and recognize and remember that you are in the hands and in the arms of your Heavenly Father. We just went through, church, the Lord's Prayer. And so maybe today, even though you're displaced, even though it's difficult, even though um, your, your, your whole routine is out of whack, take some time, sit, be still. Get off social media, stop watching the news, stop looking at updates for a few minutes and walk through the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven. And just recalibrate your mind, recalibrate your soul, reminding yourself of who He is and who He is for you. See, when your eyes are on Him, that's when you can take courage. Because we cannot take courage in and of ourselves. We don't have what it takes. But God does. And He is saying to us right now, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Take courage. So God bless you guys. And please, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any needs. There are resources that are coming my way. There are people who are reaching out to me saying, do you need help with anything? And so we can help, but please let me know how. And we will continue to pray. We will continue to pray that the weather will co cooperate, that the winds will blow in the right directions, and that our firefighters will have the means and the equipment and the strength and the endurance to do what they do best. So may the peace of God, and this is when it really matters, may the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God bless you guys. I will talk to you soon.